For this attack, the first thing we want to do is identify the target and do some recon. Useful information include the target service provider, router model, etc. Next, we will clone the access point using an open network so that anyone can connect to it. Make sure to use identical network name as the target. Then, we will redirect all traffic on the cloned access point to a service page. This service page will ask the target for the WPA2 network key. Finally, we deauthenticate all the hosts connected on the original access point. This will lead them to our network, which will lead us to the key. The first thing you want to do is identify your target. Let's go ahead and run a quick scan. Here we have our target. ESSID Death Corpse, WPA2 Encryption, Channel 11. In order to clone this network, we are going to need DHCP3 server. Make sure you're connected to the internet and type the following command to install it. Now that you have installed it, move the default configuration file to a different name. This is so we can create a new configuration file for our network. Now let's go ahead and create our specification file. We are done with the file. Make sure you save it. Now we have to put our interface down and now we bring the interface back up again. However, we started on channel 11 because that's the channel our target is. There we go. Now let's create our cloned access point. Make sure to use identical names. Let's bring the interface up now. Okay, now let's add the root. Now we specify the interface we are pointing to using the file we created. Now we can start the DHCPD server. And finally, just to make sure that the server works properly, we have to flush all the IP tables. Let's go ahead and do that. At this point, you want to start Apache and MySQL. Let's go ahead and do that. Now let's take a look at what our website looks like. Here we have it. Whenever the target enters his WPA2 key, we will store that in a MySQL database just so we can see it later. Now let's see how we're going to redirect all traffic to this website using IP tables. Okay, we're done. Now let's scan the network again.
Let's look for some clients. There we go, we found the client. Now let's go ahead and de-authenticate the client. Here in the client machine, as you can see, we can't access any websites since we are being the authentic. So here the victim is prompted to enter his WPA2 key. When he enters the key, the value is stored in a MySQL database. After this, you can turn down the clone network access point. Now let's connect to our MySQL database. And here we have our victim's WPA password. Let's try connecting it. 